Hello YouTube. Well, it's uh, 1230 in the afternoon, Friday, March 25th, 2022, and I am in, uh, wow, look at that, a squirrel trying to run up a tree. There's something you don't see in Phoenix. Uh, I'm in Beaverton, Oregon. Being completely amused by a squirrel. It seems to have disappeared. Wow, that was like magical. It was right on that tree, and now it's disappeared. Alrighty then. <laughs> Not to amuse me. I, excuse me, I'm just thoroughly uh, amused. So, uh, trip here was shockingly great. Um, I, I'm... It, I don't fly often, but every time I do it, it never fails to amaze me just how convenient um, it is to go from my place to Sky Harbor Airport, um, which I'm sure you all saw that in that last video, but, uh, but um, yeah, I did get a little bit confused when I got there. Um, First time I've uh, ever flying out on uh, fly, first. Uh, I guess it's not my first time flying out of Terminal Three. It's definitely my first time flying out on uh, on um, Alaska Airlines, and my first time flying with a um, um, oh, what the heck do you call it? Uh, um, flying. Uh, alone since they've finished with the remodel and rebuilding of Terminal 3. Um, so I, I was really unclear as far as where to go to get my my boarding pass. And and it's uh, it's a little unclear, like if you're flying out the, where you need to go because the, the, um, the SkyTrain drops you off near... Um, where it drops you off is you're it's not really clear to go it's not really clear at least it wasn't to me where you need to go to get your boarding passes and you've got to go all the way from like the top level where where it, it gets you to the terminal all the way down to the bottom floor and it, it always I, I always get a little nervous when i'm in airports because it seems like most people know the routine most people f fly frequent enough it seems like when i'm in an airport that they just they know where they're going and they know what they're doing and i'm just like uh trying to read the signs and figure it out and just uh, and just getting confused it's like both directions had red lights I'm just gonna go <laughs> I just I just got no patience for red lights when I'm walking these days. Uh, and from what I've what I've heard in Portland, uh, jaywalkers are the least of their problems. So. Uh, anyway, um, so it's, it's a nice neighborhood. My uh, my daughter lives in. I so so such a change of scenery from Phoenix. Uh, but uh, Fred Meyer right there. So good to news. No, I can use my uh, Fry's VIP card, my Fry's credit card, and get all my bonus points and stuff without having to go far. Pretty sure Fred Meyer is uh, is a Kroger store. Oh, definitely a Kroger store. There's the there's the the, the logo right there. Heck, maybe I can hook my daughter up with some fries fuel points. Although I expect here, as at home, it's probably cheaper just to get gas at Costco. And there was a Costco up the road. So, um, the street that I'm on, and I forget, it's a, it's a numbered street, and it's a high number. I want to say 158th Avenue? 59 a gallon, huh? same price I left. QT at home. Um, a 
The strodes are decidedly much smaller here than they are in Phoenix. Oh, look at that. They got uh, electric uh, car charging station going in right here. That's neat. Kind of nice to see those becoming a more common thing. Oh, so where was I? Oh yeah, I was in Phoenix just earlier this morning. Um, yeah, so uh, caught, caught the plane. Um, sat next to a really nice elderly couple that's from Portland. And noticed a really gorgeous woman sitting down in the aisle, uh, in the same aisle as me, but across the, or same row as me, but across the aisle. Um, like right after I sat down in there was a, a a mother with her uh, little girl I'd say the girl was probably about six years old ish and but yeah the uh, other woman sat down across at the window seat oh couldn't couldn't help but notice her she's very very attractive, at least to me. And um, and the most random thing happened. Um, so uh, flew into PDX without incident, and um, when I got to uh, got there, and and as soon as I got in there, I, you know, my my daughter was texting me on uh, well messaging me on Snapchat and. Uh, kind of, kind of gave me a ration of shit for not letting her know any kind of advance when I was coming out here. It's like, yeah, I just was, I was in a bad frame of mind, and I just, uh, it's kind of a spur of the moment thing. But, but yeah, I was just sitting at, uh, sitting at the Wander Inn, and super, super depressed about the way everything went down last night at uh, at Bullocks, and and it. It occurred to me, and I don't think I mentioned this in my uh, earlier videos today. Um, so there's a, a policy with Amazon that if for some reason uh, the warehouse is closed during your scheduled shift, you get paid for it without having to come in. And I got an email yesterday informing me that they were going to be shut down uh, Sunday night for maintenance. So, yay. Unexpected paid day off. Oh, wow, here's the bus. That's awesome. I guess I'm wrapping this up. <laughs> there will be more later.